Hello friends and welcome to another video from DIY Share Trading. Those of you who are trading using the Axis DMAT account may have realized that some few months back, that around a few months back, the interface for Axis Direct had changed. I had created a video for how to buy, buy shares in Axis Direct uh, quite some time back and that was with the old interface. So I decided that let me also create a new video with the new interface. Though the options are the same, but still the navigation has changed. So I thought it would be worthwhile. If you want to refer the old video, then it's provided in the description below, as in the link of the video has been provided in the description below. Also, if you want to view the Hindi version of the same video, or you want to learn how to buy shares in Access Direct uh, in Hindi with the new interface, then that link has also been provided in the description below. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel DIY Share Trading and also press the bell notification icon. So let's move ahead. Once you log into the new interface, that is the Access Direct account, this is the new interface you'll be getting. As you can see, there are a lot of options out here. On the left panel itself, you can see all the options that you require for share trading have been provided. In the middle of the screen, there are some information on the market. And on the right side, you can see I've highlighted switch to old website link has also been provided. So if you're not comfortable with the new interface, then you can also switch back to the old interface. Now, the new interface is pretty simple. If you want to buy shares, then you can see I've highlighted at the top a text box that has been provided where you can search the name of the share that you want to buy. If you click on this text box, a pop-up similar to this opens. Here you can type the name of the share or you can just start typing the name of the share that you want to buy or the stock that you want to buy. In my example, I have taken Axis Bank as the stock that I want to buy. So I just typed the first few alphabets of the name. So as soon as I typed AXIS Axis, a list of all the stock names that start with Axis have been provided below or got provided automatically below. You can see here it's Axis Bank NSE, Axis Bank BSE. Access, Access Gates Engineering NSC and Access Gates Engineering BAC. Now suppose I want to buy the Access Bank stock or I want to trade from the National Stock Exchange that is NSC. So what I do is I click on the buy option that is next to Access Bank NSC which directs me to this screen. On this screen you can see there is product type, quantity, price, market checkbox. These are the options that we need to fill in order to place our buy order on the market. Also on the right hand side top you can see what was the last traded price of the Axis Bank stock on NSE has also been provided. So at the time that I have been recording this video or I am recording this video it is 725.50. Now let's start with the fields that we need to populate in order to place the trading order or the buy order. The first field is product type. One thing that I liked about the Access Direct's new interface is that when you select the product type option, in the drop down there are four values cash, intraday, e margin, and cover. Along with each option, they have also provided a description which helps in the user decide to decide which option should he choose. So, in our example, for a normal trade, we will be selecting cash. However, if you are interested in intraday trading, you can select intraday. If you want to pay margin and carry forward your trade up to 90 days, then you can select e-margin. However, you can see it's also mentioned that it is not allowed for this stock and this option is a little grayed out. And then you have the option for cover where you can apply assign stop loss and trade up to 20 times. So we will proceed with the product type selected as cash. The next field is a simple one. Here you mention the quantity or the number of shares that you want to buy. So in our example, I have considered that I want to buy 25 shares of Access Bank. So I've entered the value 25. Next comes price. Now in price, I can decide the amount at which I would like this order to be executed or the buy order to be placed. So I have entered 721 out here. As you can see at the time that this, uh, I have created this video, the last traded price was 725 which is displayed at the top. I had shown you earlier too. Now I have decided a price of 721 which means that if the price of the share falls below 721 or at 721, only then my order gets executed. 
The next option is a checkbox which has been provided saying market. If you click on this checkbox, then your order becomes a market order, which basically means that the price that you have entered becomes obsolete. So whatever is the price the share is being traded on in the market, at that point of time when you place your order, your order will get executed at that price itself. So entering the value in price does not make any sense. So I won't be checking this option of market and I'll leave it unchecked which means that I have selected a limit order. I want the trade to be executed only when the price of the share is at the price I have specified or has fallen below it. Another intelligent thing that I liked about this new interface is that as soon as I, have, as I had entered quantity and price, the block below for placing the order or the button below has immediately calculated that place order of Rs 18,025 so that is the price 721 that I have specified multiplied by 25 shares. So this is the amount for which I am placing an order on the market. If I want without going through the remaining fields, I can click on this button out here and my order will get, uh, will get placed on the market. However, let's go through the, through the optional fields also. You can see there is a link for optional fields that has been provided just below the details that you had entered. If we click on this link, then we get the following options, trigger price, disclosed quantity and validity. For the sake of simplicity, I won't be going into the field for disclosed quantity. Basically, disclosed quantity is used when you are working on a large volume of shares or you're placing an order for a large volume of shares. Suppose you are dealing with say 20,000 shares that you want to uh, buy or sell. At that point of time, disclosed quantity comes in handy. If you do not want to reveal to the market your actual amount of order, maybe you can place a certain percentage of the order that you, have, that you are placing on the market, you can just enter it out there. Since I am doing an, ex uh, since I am doing an example with just 25 shares, so I won't be entering anything in disclosed quantity. Trigger price is a very interesting field. This is nothing but the stop loss that you want to assign to your order. Let's try to understand it with an example. Suppose you, your order got executed and you bought each share at 721 rupees. Let's take taking this example in mind. What happens if the share price starts falling immediately after you buy? You would start panicking and that would mean that you are also incurring some losses. So in order to limit your losses, you can enter a trigger price out here. So if I enter a trigger price of 715, it would essentially mean that if the share price starts falling beyond 721 and reaches the value of 715, then an automatic sell order for my transaction or for my shares should be placed on the market immediately. That way, I curtail my losses. So that's a very interesting field. So the next field is validity. In validity, there is just one option day. It essentially means that if I place my order on the exchange, it will be valid for the entire day. Anytime during the day, if the price of the share goes to the value that I have specified or falls below it, only then my order will get executed. And this order will remain valid only for that day. There are sometimes other options also which are provided in validity like IOC, which means immediate or cancel. In case of IOC, I want that as soon as my order has been placed on the exchange, it should immediately be executed and if it does not get executed, then it should get cancelled. Since in this example, we just have an option for entering validity as day, I'll be selecting day out here. And finally, I have the option or the button to place the order for this trade uh, details that I have entered. Once I click on this, I might get a pop-up saying that are you, uh, have you confirmed or are you sure that you want to place this order? But basically, this is the final step. So guys, I think that the new interface of Access Direct is pretty simple and I would recommend that you use it. However, if you find it a little complicated, then you can always switch back to the new interface, to the old interface, which I had shown at the start of the video. If you have liked this video, then give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends and remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.